It's Friday the 17th of December. Welcome to Narrowboat the James Bill. Hope you're well. Thanks for joining me. Well, it's a beautiful day today. Dave from Narrowboat Fur Bob is here as well. We're going to go out cruising. So I've got to prepare the boat. First thing, take off the cover. It's been on there for ages. So looking forward to getting some sun on the deck. Two of those in one of those, some milk and cream and all that, and that will last me a good few hours. My deck's clear, I've got this on, I've got my uh, windlass in place, which is unusual for me. Uh, boat hook, boat hook can come down here. It's on my safe. Okay, so. This is always the nerve-wracking bit. Boat hasn't moved for three weeks. Sorry, uh, CRT, two weeks. Um, all right, let's give this a go. Oh, amazing. Right, let's untie. Right, let's go. Thank you, Kings Langley. boat fur bob and uh, he's just gone down to set up the first lock we're going to head towards the grove today uh, ultimate destination by the end of the weekend is rickmansworth so you're in my overnight tonight in uh, the grove come back and get the cars so it looks like i should be able to go straight into this one now a beautiful Victorian house in the midst of all of this new office development which signifies we are coming up to a lock. Ah yes there it is. Well, this is a poignant moment. I've come under this bridge uh, on that little GRP dope a few years back. And I spent collectively probably a few months sitting on top of that bridge in a car in stationary traffic.
This is a little bit of a uh, long, boring stretch of canal though, to be honest. But I quite like large bridge structures like this, so I'm quite enjoying it nonetheless. Bridge 160. I mean, in fairness, you wouldn't really want to spend much time underneath this. Maybe in a storm. Or an undercoat. Shed at the top of their scaffolding up there. Check that out. So uh, this is the massive M25 bridge between junctions 20 and 21. Verbob's just behind me. Oh, that is some amazing structure. Well, I've reached John's house here at lock 71 which is North Grove lock and Dave and I are now wearing uh, matching coats which is obviously uh, the theme of the day Beautiful old lock keeper's cottage, this one. This is old former hunting ground all around here. All of this area. started as a beautiful sunny day, it's turned into something pretty chilly, so I'm getting my uh, winter weather gear on. A whole bunch of teachers here that have turned up on a uh, day boat, so they're all helping us do the locks. So that's great, me and Dave are just sitting on the boats. Happy days. Right, off to the Grove. Well, I'm not 100% sure, but given certain dates and geographies and things involved I think this is the first time this boat has ever been inside the M25 and being inside the M25 as a commuter psychologically that's quite a big deal I feel like I'm much closer to London now so that's cool Furbob's just behind me we're coming up to Hunton Bridge now Abbots Langley and Hunton Bridge not far from the Warner Brothers film studios where the Harry Potter stuff was all filmed and where their where Harry Potter world is Side here there's some moorings as you can clearly see and um, there is a pub around here somewhere you can just about make out over there the pub kind of garden and I think uh, well non, not obviously during Covid times but they have like a big summer party here like a music festival a 
saw it a few years back, it looked really good all along the canal here. So that might be a place to uh, pay a visit. There's a winding hole coming up here. Oh, and a rather fancy deck at the end of someone's garden. Oh, yes. Oh, look at that. My word, that's pretty. That's got to be the nicest property I've seen on the canal network so far. Oh, we're at Hunton Bridge Locks. This is the first of two locks. There's another one just through there. You can make out. But then after that, that should be us all the way to the grove. That's it, come on Dave. Well, bridge 162A, that little footbridge going over there by the lock was definitely the lowest bridge I've encountered on the Grand Union so far. I mean, I didn't have to take my chimney off, but it nearly got my tripod. So just below lock 73, which is the second of Hunton Bridge locks, is Southwest Hearts Narrowboat Trust where they've got a couple of boats and I think they do uh, they do trips out and things like that. Nice little setup they got there. Here's Dave rather stylishly coming into lock 73. Going get mine. Bridge 162 is very nice. All the bridges now, as we approach the grove, are very pretty. Well, I don't know about all of them, but a lot of them are. Sometimes landowners when they were building the canal said all right yeah you can put the canal through my land but only if you make it look nice there's lots of examples of that down the Kennet and Avon towards Bath amazing bridges okay so my theory about bridges might not be entirely correct because I don't think the next one you could class as pretty but this is a new bridge from the fact there is no actual proper moorings there this is a nice little spot here We're just about to turn a corner oh that's a nice little spot to sit down so we're just about to turn the corner into the Grove Estate and here is another lovely bridge this is a uh, up and over bridge What a lovely little bridge that is.
exciting round here for boats. Okay, that's bridge 163 dealt with. Lovely. Uh, now we are approaching the grove. I can see the hotel straight ahead of me. So now I'm really looking out for moorings. Towpath on that side now, on the port side. Manicured grounds of the Grove Championship Golf Course. Barack Obama played there, I think with David Cameron. No prizes for guessing who was the better sportsman in that contest. And here's my favourite bridge of all. At night they illuminate this, which is lovely. Now I've got to find some moorings around here ideally. I'm wondering whether I should moor up here and then walk forwards and see if there's anything else. Further ahead of that bridge, it all opens up on the left-hand side and it's brilliant for solar. But because of that, I'm not going to be alone. Right, well, after having pulled over slightly, just to have a look, I can see there is a better space a little bit further on, just in front of that blue boat. And there, the solar is much, much better. So I'm going to see if I can get there before anyone else does, which is the aim of the game in these parts of the world. And here it is, my favourite bridge of all, 164, on the private access drive to the Grove Estate. Lovely. Dave and I are just mooring up. But check this out for solar. Brilliant. Now I'm moored up, there's plenty of stuff to do post cruise. Hotel up there on the top of the hill. Oh yeah, what a lovely spot this is. Idyllic. Just moored up here and Jules Fuels are passing, adorned in their Christmas decorations. But I don't need anything at the moment, which is a pity. Good opportunity whilst they're passing.
Merry Christmas if I don't see you guys. Lovely seeing those old working boats. Still working. Still old. Well, it's like Dickens time with all these chimneys going around here. Right, got to walk back to Kings Langley. That way. I'm cooking some spaghetti. I'm absolutely starving and knackered as well. We um, cruise all day and in the cold, it's all a bit draining of you. Um, and then I had to walk back from here to Kings Langley and get the car. Um, so uh, that's about an hour and a half or something like that. Um, and uh, I could have waited and kind of got a lift tomorrow, but I thought no proper continuous cruiser style, I'll walk back and get it. Um, so yeah, here I am just cooking some dinner now. Um, I think we're going to leave tomorrow though and head further towards Croxley. This is the only kind of time frame that we've got to move the boats before Christmas. So Dave wants to be in Ricky for Christmas. That suits me fine. So that's our plan. Um, and then we'll probably stay there for, well, I'll probably stay there for the duration, maybe and move it again in the new year. Um, and then probably head into London, do London, and then head back out towards Marsworth or something like that. That'd be the plan, I guess. Um, and then in the interim, I can carry on, do some more work on the boat. It's much nicer now. Um, like it's a nice environment to spend some time in. I've got some candles lit and stuff, not just for ambiance, but also a bit of energy saving. So I can turn the lights off because um, these lights aren't particularly attractive all night long, to be honest. So I can have those on the under gunnel lights and it's really quite, I mean, it's quite a nice environment in here. Uh, so I will catch up with you later on uh, tomorrow uh, when we move the boat to Croxley. Take care. Bye bye.